radiating, captivating, <laughs> fascinating. Just a few words to describe the actress and singer, the legendary Audra McDonald. She's also a legend. Uh -huh. <laughs> Emmy, Grammy, and six-time Tony winner is back on Broadway. And what she says is one of her toughest roles ever. Mm. Audra, we're so happy that you're here. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. We want to talk about this play because it's something that both Jen and I want to see, but we just want to talk about you for a minute. We were just, we had a chat earlier in, in the show, and we were talking about body positivity mm -hmm. and how that's important to us and our girls. And we just wondered how that was affecting you and your life. Yes. Well, I, I have a 21-year-old, almost 22-year-old daughter, and I have a six-year-old daughter. And my 20 one-year-old daughter was saying to me the other day, she was saying, you know what, um, mom, I, I want you to talk differently about your body um, with Sally because I watched the way you talked about your body with me and, and, and she said, you never said anything bad about my body, but you talked poorly about your body Yourself. in front of me. And she's like, and that affects the way I look at my body now. And I thought, oh, that's, that's overwhelmingly accurate and heartbreaking, and thank you. And so now I'm taking that information from my older daughter into how I raise my younger one. And also, yeah. what an incredible relationship mm -hmm. and what a great job you've done to mm -hmm. raise uh, a daughter, mm -hmm. Zoe, yeah. who feels comfortable to come to you and be honest like oh, that. That's, I mean, that's the one thing I've been trying to teach my children is like, you can say anything to yeah. me. Yeah. Say anything to me. Were you raised that way? Um, you know, different generation. <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> no, like, you know, Generate, yeah. Different generation, what, but yes, I'm definitely trying that with my What kids. is it like? I feel like we're at a similar stage in life. You've got a six-year-old. I have an almost six-year-old <laughs> and a three-year-old. But what is it like raising up a six-year-old now? You know, I mean, <laughs> raising a six-year-old when yeah. you're 52, yeah. <laughs> as yeah. I am, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm calmer in a lot of situations because I've already done it, yeah. you know, with a 21-year-old. Um, and I'm more aware that time is going to go by so yeah. quickly. Yeah. That's so I am trying to hold on to the moments and, and, and be present in every little moment and not worry so much about the fact that, okay, you know, okay, she's had the same pair of socks on for three <laughs> yeah, days, totally. but, but it's a it's a fight that's not worth having. It's not worth yes. it. Yeah. yeah. Or the days yeah. that she's like, I don't want you to do my hair. It's like, all right, so she's not going to have her hair done at school <laughs> yeah. today. Or if we miss a day of school, it's like she's in first grade. <laughs> it's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I feel actually, like that needs to be our yes. parenting yes. philosophy. Yes. It's like yes. worry about the big things. The big things yes, and the, the little things. things, especially because then you can have life moments. Like, you know, so we go on a hike today. Yeah, that's totally. all right. That's all right. We have to talk about this incredible, incredible play. First of all, it was written by a magnificent writer. Yes, a 91-year-old yes, playwright named Adrienne Kennedy. She wrote this play uh, 30, 40 years ago, 30, 1992. Yeah. Whenever, yeah. 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 So we can't do the math, and it's going to make us feel old. I know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but she wrote, wrote her first play uh, when she was mm -hmm. 22 years old. And none of her plays have ever been on Broadway before now. She's been a prolific, um, uh, brilliant playwright who has yeah. been studied very much in academia and has had lots of local productions, but she's never had a Broadway debut until wow. now. that is magnificent. Yeah, yeah. So you play two roles. You're on stage. It's, it's 70, 70, 75 minutes. 75 minutes. Yeah. It's basically you. All, yeah, it, it basically me. So it's yeah. you and your younger self, yes. kind of. Yeah, I play myself as a 58-year-old old woman coming back to her alma mater to talk about, she's been invited to talk about violent imagery in her work. She's a playwright. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she ends up talking about the violent imagery in her work, but then revealing what happened to her while she was oh. at Ohio State. In 1949, 1949 and 1950. And is, this and is this true? Is this based on truth? Semi-autobiographical. Semi, okay. Uh, Adrian Kennedy did attend Ohio State. She was there in 1949, and in 1946 was when they desegregated the dorms. Oh. So she was there only three years after the desegregation had happened, and um, it was a rough time for her. Yeah. And so she's incorporated a lot of what happened to her into the story. So the playwright is telling the story, and it's also a murder mystery. Oh You're gosh. finding out this truth that she's been keeping quiet and keeping in herself all these years, and she finally reveals it in this evening. So while you're on Broadway, your lovely husband is also on Broadway. <laughs> yes. How do you guys, how does that work? Do you ever get to see him? Does um, he ever get to see you? Yes, well, because my play is short, and his, you know, he's doing Neil Diamond on Broadway and uh -huh. A Beautiful Noise, so when my, my play is over, you know, very dark subject matter, very <laughs> heavy subject matter, um, I always go over to his theater, and, oh. you know, they, they're shooting off cannons at the end <laughs> with, with like, all this sort of, you know, confetti, and it's and Neil you Diamond. 
dance. And they're all singing Sweet Caroline. <laughs> and and it's like, like, cool. Yeah, yeah, but it's great. It's We're, sort of like a palate cleanser. It, yeah. it, it is. But it, it is. also is the most New York yeah. moment of, of course, all time. Of course, of course. And we're still, you know, mom and dad trying to raise our kids and, you know, get through all of it. But it's 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 Doing a life. Yeah. We have to yeah. talk about the Gilded Age, too. Yeah. Yeah. You've got, you got so much going. <laughs> <laughs> what has that felt yeah. like? Because it was just such a talked yeah. about yes. fit. It's coming back for season mm -hmm. two. Yes. No, I, I love being a part of that. I love that uh, Julian oh, Fellows yeah. thought to not only sort of focus on this this world here, you know, in New York and the, during the Gilded Age, but also to focus on the fact that there was a thriving black community at that mm -hmm. time as well. And, and that's historically accurate. And for us to um, sort of gloss over it is not necessarily a good thing. So I enjoy yeah. that, that that it's being a part of it. And I love the costumes being a part of a costume drama. Totally. And the corsets are amazing in the morning and <laughs> torture after lunch. Torture. You I was going to say, can you even eat? You, or you, you barely, you barely <laughs> can. <laughs> Trying to put that corset on after you've had lunch is in, uh, impossible. Okay, that's how we feel about even pants. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so back to your play for just a second. Yes. Cheryl Lee Ralph is one of the play's producers, yes, right? We're a fan of hers. Oh, uh, don't you amazing. adore her? Yes. Anyway, she just had a little video message for you. Oh, Take she did? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Audra, this is Cheryl Lee Ralph, and I just wanted to take a moment to celebrate you and your incredible performance in The Ohio State Murders. You and the cast do a phenomenal job every night, and every ticket holder gets something that they will not soon forget by seeing this production. So God bless you, love you, carry on, and keep making a difference on that stage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't you love that? Oh, She's amazing. And I, you know, I Dream Girls was just, yes. you know, when I was growing up and, and watching Dream Girls, and I just uh, adored her and always wanted to meet her. And, and the fact that we're working together on this has just been, and everything that's happening with her again, and just with Abbott Elementary, and just yes. the diva and brilliant and, and gorgeous woman that she is. Remember, just, this is what believing looks like that's when right, she gave that right. speech. She's oh, so I love that. that. So love much that. empowerment. Yeah, She's just I an incredible it. lady. Well, well, we, we love you, love you. Audra. Thank and this is an incredible, incredible play. We mm -hmm. need to make it yeah, date. We're, we're making a date. <laughs> um, you can catch Ohio State Murders. If you're in New York, come see it. It's on Broadway now at the James Earl Jones Theater. Thank you, Audra. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.